This is episode 69 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 13th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve saddle up to five craft beers. Two are from single breweries, three are collaborations. Four are excellent, one not so much. Hold on to your hats, listeners. This one is a wild ride. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yo! We Whoa. Got tech guy, Steve. Was that too loud? Sorry. That was a little loud. Excited. Sorry. Excited. Always excited to be here. So we got a couple beers, guys. All over the place. All over the place? We're banging back and forth How many across states? the country. How many states? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, they're California, I think, both of them. Oh, two California and two from two other states. Awesome. Texas and um, Colorado, and then that's a collab with uh, Equilibrium in New York. Wow. So we uh, yeah five or six different breweries. Spreading it a out. A couple of collabs. Oh. Spreading it out. But what are, you, what are we going to drink first? Hey, so first off is... Uh, uh, Muscat. Yeah, the Spawn uh, Muscat from, uh, from Jester King. Oh, uh, my goodness gracious. So this is a spontaneous uh, fermented uh, beverage. Uh, they've added... Um, in this, it's uh, uh, muscat grapes, Good which point. I believe are, um, it doesn't smell bad. are from on site. It smells sour and tart. So this is 2017. It's a while back. Uh, rendition. It's been, uh, it's been sitting around bottle. for a minute. Pre-COVID bottle. Hard to get, right? When you could roam the earth, up, you know, without weary of uh, death or destruction. Yeah, they would have a limit. I thought they had a limit of spawn of, of how many you could get when we were down yeah. there. Like you could just get a couple, like couple two. bottles of it, two, of I each think. rendition, I think. Um, and then they also do like, I still have a bunch of, I went I down the there. The grapes are lost on this one. Mm. You've got the sour part, but the the grape part of it is is just not rolling. I like it. Might have been a too, it might have baked it a little too much. Mm. Spent too much time in the oven. <laughs> So uh, it says on the back, uh, this is a blend of one year, uh, one year old, hundred percent spontaneously fermented beer, re-fermented with muscat grapes. Re-fermented. For, yep. Uh, for Spawn, we make our beer uh, inextricably linked to our time, place, and people by harnessing the microflora, climate, and ecology of the Texas Hill Country. So we had Texas-grown grains to the mash, gnarly, uh, gnarly old hops from our old barn to the boil. Uh, chill and inoculate the wort with native microflora in our cool ship. 100% spontaneously ferment the beer in our oak barrels. Referment with Texas fruit and naturally condition the beer in the bottle. I don't think this is a bad beer because I expected this type of a flavor coming out of it. I don't know that muscats yeah, tart. are sweet grapes. Yeah. Just that, by uh, the name. It's probably on the far end of it. You know, it's just... I love the it's color. Good, yeah, it's a good good sour though. I mean, good base. Absolutely. I mean, it's just uh, yeah, I think maybe you're uh, maybe the grapes are lost. I think they're lost on it. I mean, it's just maybe I don't know. I've tasted stuff like this before. It's just not real fruity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Chris got a little shimmy to his shake. Yeah. So it's, it's that's it. It's just not fruity. I mean, yeah. And this is a wild mm-hmm. beer, right? So it's going to be completely different, anyways. Like we've been told up at uh, Liberty. So, <laughs> can you explain the wild part again? I forgot. So, just the spontaneous how they uh, um, open up the vats. Yeah, just open up the vats and let anything uh, blow in from from outside. So, spawn you know, like uh, spawn from one year to the next could could taste different. Just you know, depending on what it's uh, it's inoculated with. And this is a farm, so there's all kinds mm-hmm. of stuff growing there. You know, they're they're raising hops now too, right? I thought they had they have all kinds of stuff grapes and uh, so yeah. pollen can get in there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, right. Anything that's the, the correct. natural yeast. Yeah. Somebody lights a barbecue. Yeah, gets some smoke going. Right. Yeah. The neighbor decides to throw <laughs> some tires on the fire a couple that of weekend. Creosote, you know? uh, <laughs> creosote uh, tr- railroad railroad track uh, beams. You know. Right. No worries. <laughs> Just breathe a little more in. You'll be fine. No, this is. Mm-hmm. I expected this. <clears throat> I didn't. I, I didn't know what to expect. The but grapes I, it's, be not ter- gone, but it's not terrible. I've tasted this before. We've had it several months. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, we've had yeah we've had a couple of different spawns. Uh, super funky. I mean, I think uh, pretty good acidity. I expect it to probably be a little more acidic than than it is. Mm-hmm. Dig it in deep. It's still pretty that? crisp. I think mm-hmm. so. Oh yeah, but, it's yeah. sharp, it's tart and sharp for sure. They could they could make all kinds of stuff happen. All right, here we go. Papa number two. This is the uh, Weldworks uh, Equilibrium collaboration. Uh, so this is um, actually, I think, yeah. Let's we'll do it the this. other way. Let's hit the other one real right. quick. I, I apologize. I'm good with that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually go the route of double dry hopped underworld dreams from modern times. Modern uh, times. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, hazy <laughs> IPA. Uh, so they they took this beloved hazy IPA and they dry hopped the bejesus out of it with Idaho Seven, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Amarillo hops. They say the result is a face melting explosion of pineapple, orange, citrus, and berry flavors, and aromas that's just a straight up joy to behold. Ooh, <sighs> smells <laughs> fabulous. I shoved my nose in the bubbles again. <laughs> that tells you I poured a pretty decent glass full. <laughs> <laughs> I come never, here to watch. That's that, what that, I got that <sighs> Pretty delicious. I may say so myself. Pretty tasty. Yeah, it's got it's got exactly what you said. The pineapple is uh, is right up there. Not super sweet, but it's a uh, it's almost got a bit of a riny flavor to it. You know, it's got a great orange uh, color. Yeah, orange color there. I think Steve. It's hard to put my. It does pineapple for mm-hmm. sure. But. Great hop smell, like that citrusy. You get that rind? Mm hmm. Something's. Some, somewhere in there. Like a melon rind. Tart. Tart. Not tart isn't the right word. Those are bitter. Bitters, I think. Mm. That's pretty juicy. That's a good hazy. I'll drink that. That is pretty tasty. And again, I'll drink just about any hazy. Right? Yeah, it's been, a, uh, it's been quite some time, I feel like, since I've been down to. Uh, modern times? Modern times. I went to the Flavor Dome. That's been the last few places that I've been. I like it there. It's, you don't have to drive all the way down there. It's North Park or kind of South East Park, you know, South North Park. Mm-hmm. In the middle park, I guess. It's, it's not South Park, but it's not North Park. Isn't that right? So it's in the middle park. And uh, great tacos right around the corner. Oh, man. The taco stand. If you're into ramen, the underbelly is pretty legit. Is it? Pretty legit. Yeah. I would do that. I'm a, I'm a good underbelly guy, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, the taco stand is lights out. El Pastor, by the way. Some of our favorites. It's a show favorite? Yeah, show favorite. El Pastor Tacos is a supporting support food. Hey, so uh, while we enjoy this uh, this Modern Times beverage, you guys have any other uh, any beverages this week? Uh, I did. Steve, fire. Uh, I got um, that beer zombie that Charlie sh- shared with me that J. Ream, Rula, Rula Cardo. I gave you that? I yeah. Said, Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dreams. Uh, yeah. Who's that a collab with? I'm um, not sure. The, you got some. Hmm. What is it? Let me see it. Oh, that's with Burley Oak. Okay, mm-hmm. Burley Oak. Yeah. And Christy liked it because it poured too. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was surprised me that she. It's did. a tasty one. Mm-hmm. It's a real fruiter. They, uh, you know, that's a dreams with a J that Burley Oak makes, and mm-hmm. he did a collab with them, and uh, turned out pretty awesome. That guy's he's got it going on. I mean, the the beer zombie in Vegas is uh, he's got another uh, he opened another place in the mall area out there in Summerlin, so mm-hmm. it's a nice little tap room. I stopped off there before I went to the airport last time I was there and uh, partook in some beverage. It was delicious. They have food there too, which is sh- super nice. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I what'd you do? Um, North Park birdie to bogey. Easy call. Easy call. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a. Yeah, I mean it's a, a super crisp uh, pilsner with. Um, uh, what do they use for hops? Dry hopped with citra, mosaic, and strawberry. I think hops. somebody drank your party cup that you dropped off over here. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I, me. Yeah. I'm not going to say who it was, but it could have been me. <laughs> it was delicious, by the way. Good choice. <laughs> yeah. Me? I just went with the old uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yep. We just we just documented that. I know. You can I have check it, it out on my. I have it. Have it here and have it there. I I have it all the time. It's red readily available at this situation. Okay. Are we going to go on to the next here, or mm-hmm. should we finish this off? Uh, yeah. What do you think of that that beer, Charlie? You're a fan of that. For a hazy, yes. 
Yeah. Are, are you... Uh, it's not it? their best hazy. Uh-huh. But it is a good hazy. Yeah, it was just a weird taste at the end. Yeah. Kind of really grainy. Kind of a little bittery, uh, melony, grainy finish to, to it. You need to go to one of those classes to tell what it tastes. Oh. Savant. The beer sommelier. sommelier. Oh, the... Uh, Craft um, beer sommelier. The beer sommelier. The Dino Cicerelli. The <laughs> Dino Ciceroni. The Cicero. Ciceroni. Quit, the Cicero. quit saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, remember Dino Cicerelli? He's like the greatest. Uh, he was like a, I mean, he was a North Star growing up. So that's what a I hockey think of, player. Uh, he was a hockey player. They named it after him. He must have drank a lot no, of beer. That's, that's that. That should be my new Instagram page, <laughs> Dino Ciceroni. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're jumping into the uh, collab. Like I said before, between Weldworks and Equilibrium. Equilibrium is out of New York, and Weldworks is Colorado, right? That's correct. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, Weldworks out of Greeley, Colorado, up there by Fort Collins. Greeley. Uh, and then Equilibrium out of, out of Middletown. Uh, so this is a double dry hopped, uh, um, double dry hopped IPA, or excuse me, it's a double IPA uh, with Citra Strata and, and hazy. Lotus hops. Anytime it's got Strata hazy. in it, you're in good shape. And Citra. So this is a uh, bit rate fluctuation. Ooh, you smell a little more, a little more hop on this one. This was available locally. Yeah, I grabbed this at Valley Farms, I think. Or you grabbed it at Valley Farms. Or Bottlecraft, one or the other. I brought one home the other day that was a Weldworks, Equilibrium, and the other half. It was a tasty beverage. Unfortunately, there were only four of them, and there wasn't enough to go on the show. Because <laughs> they went quickly. Yeah, they were tasty, huh? No, they were, they were delicious. Same kind of same kind of hazy. I don't think it was nine percent like this one is i think it was more like six or seven but wow this is going to be a heavy hitter here might be in the bag by the next beer so the uh mm. wow oh that one's a lot better is it it's a much hoppier a little less i mean probably 40 ibus off the other one mm -hmm. maybe 50 goodness no bitterness at all Look at that pour. Mm. Finish it off, Chris. Some orange juice. I can't. I, I got to leave some for a guest in case he comes out. <laughs> case, case our guest, our guest uh, listener shows up. I think I think he went and hit the hay. I think he's on the couch or somewhere. Mm. I like that one. You like that one? A little left for you in there, Steve. What's that that is a uh, equilibrium. Is with their hazy, they're outstanding. It's and they're a phenomenal good. beer. They're not in New York City, though. They're outside, right? Like all the New Year's. Middletown? Middletown? Yeah. I right thought outside. they were in New York. They are. They are, but the state. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I knew that. But I thought they were closer. Mm. Well, so they're not in the city. They're just out in New York. Lotus Hops. They I are. Heard uh, that very often, haven't you? Yeah, no. Well, these guys did a couple of collabs with uh, the other half, and they were mm. bangers. They were outstanding. I mean,. So I know they do good work on these. I haven't had any of their beers specifically, I don't think. I always get a collab with these guys, but they have a lot of their own. I know that. Where's Greeley, Colorado? Uh, by kind of Fort Collins, mm. north of Denver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About an hour and a half north. Fort Collins is a college town. A lot of breweries in that little mm -hmm. spot. Is any there? Good, any good yeah. breweries in Palm Springs? I'm not no. certain. I'm sure they got cold beer. Yeah, the, uh, um, what's, well, uh, um, anything crossed her. Is that where you're going? Way? Yeah. That's where you, that's where you guys are going tomorrow? Yeah. Or today? Tomorrow. Um, I don't think there is. Yeah, I can't think of anything out there. Um, that's about an hour and a half outside of the city that Middletown is. Mm hmm. Um, take some beer with you. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, so what's off the 15? It's got to be more than one thing off the 15. Electric. I don't know if they're still open. Like they would be on the two fifteen. I think they they do a beer release where you, they're in Marietta, they're mm -hmm. a little ways north. But there's yeah. also I know they make phenomenal beers. Yeah, they're they good. make really really good beers. Um, the uh, what's in the? Yeah, there's nothing out in Palm Springs. Mm -mm. Get back to you there. Right. Just bring your own beer. Go. That's the best way to do it. You know, if it's hot, jump in the pool, drink Coors Light, you'll be fine. Be hot Actually, I think it's going to be warmer, warmer here than it is. Out yeah, there. is it? Yeah, that's what they said. It's turning to winter. What? Uh, what do you guys think of that second? Uh, uh, 
I'm a fan. I like it a lot. You like that one mm-hmm. more than the Underworld Dreams? Yeah, it's better than the Underworld Dreams. I think I'm on the other side of it. Are you? Mm-hmm. You know what? You're a West Coast IPA guy. Yeah, yeah. You're used to that bitterness. You want the bitterness. Yeah. You're a little low on bitterness, so you, you're uh-huh. refilling your tanks there. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Yes. Our, uh, <clears throat> our selection today was eclectic, to say the least. Kind of all over the place, huh? Yeah. We could go for days and not drink those same beers again. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm looking at a little uh, couple of beers over there. There's some, we, we need to get into those. <laughs> at some point but if we start drinking out of this one we're in trouble a lot of high octane in there mm-hmm. all right let's see what we got here we got a little uh little dark matter here ascension harland and con conscious ales conscious ales summer wildflower honey maple sugar maple pecan and vanilla this is a 12.3 percent Stout. Mm. And I'm saying stout with no doubt. Oof. Yeah, oh. so this is uh um this is brewed and collab with Conscious Ales. Uh this Imperial Stout was brewed with uh Michelich, uh family summer wildflower honey. This and is maple 30 sugar. weight oil, is mm-hmm. what I think it is. Is this beer post fermentation with grade B dark and robust maple, as Good well as roasted pecans? Night. Vanilla beans. Uh, this beer has an incredible depth of maple flavor, which then leads yeah, to I'm sweet that big smell, nuttiness, uh, followed by vanilla and roasted pecans. Pecans. Ascension. I'm not getting the big smell. Yeah. I hope it tastes better than it smells. Um, you know what? Like, yeah, I guess we'll see here when we when we pop these. The uh, um, Let's take a Tasty. You know, I, th- I forgot to mention, I, I did drink a stout in the past week. That blueberry dose. Mm-hmm. Well, how was that? <laughs> uh, it's probably terrible. I'm just going to give yeah. you a guess. It was all right. Huh? Uh, yeah. It's right up there with blue bear. Ooh, that's a lot of maple. That's what do you think? What do you get? A lot of maple. I think it's infected. I do think it's got like an off, it's got an off flavor. Wow. Like it's uh, something it's, happened there. It's almost molassesy. Yeah, it's not. Uh, are, we un- are we unable to drink this? Fortunately, I think that one is uh, might fall by the uh, the side of undrinkable. Let's go check one. Check another one. See if you can find something. Look in that door number three right this there. This one? No, this one. This one? Yeah. What should we? Uh, Any of those. Get that uh, green cheek or that. Yeah. See that green cheek right there by yeah, your hand? Yeah, we got to end with a stout. Yeah, that green cheek's a stout. This one? Yes. That's from Aslan. Oh, Aslan. That's what I meant. Look, it's got a damn parrot on it. It's got, that's a 15 percenter. Oh, that'll do. That'll make up for this 12 percenter that we couldn't drink. I oh, my gosh. The, uh... Oh, my gosh, she says. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad, huh? Yeah, I don't know what happened on that, on that bottle, but I thought I had a... What? Um, Grab that north or uh, oh, that other one right there above it. What's that? The uh, this? Great Notion. This one? No, Great Notion right there. Now we're we're thumbing through beers just to find something that's drinkable here. All right, so we're gonna give this guy a run. Let me get let me clear your uh, your glass here, gentlemen. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, we're gonna just go with this can right here, which is a. Uh, a can from Parish and Great Notion. Mm. Little swamp snacks. Uh, so it's coconut, maple, marshmallow, and graham cracker stout. And uh, if this uh, if this stunt doesn't work out, we're just going to hang her up. Give me that. You're not allowed to pour. He's got to get that taste out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> A lot less viscosity on this bad boy. Ooh, I like the little can art. Yeah, they got great can art. So what do you think? This one smells a lot better, that's for sure. Is there any tastier? Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's no comparison. Coconut comes through. Uh, oh, my. Wow, what a jump. <laughs> yeah, from like undrinkable to oh, undrinkable. Wow. Like, it's really good. <laughs> Sorry. Keep, that, keep that up here. i got to take another picture of all the beers. Because that one's okay. going to still be in the show notes. So. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we uh, you know it's probably been a while that we've uh, we haven't had. I don't think any. Um, uh, we did have one other beer. I yeah. remember that was oh, the gin one was undrinkable. The gin, Oof, was yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was hard to consume. I mean, it's it, quite a bit better though. You can yeah. taste a lot of uh, you taste everything. Taste the this, coconut. Yeah, the graham cracker taste. I can taste that too. And pillowy with that marshmallow. Mm. That's pretty it's great notion. I'm, I am not gonna. That talk, great notion. No, we're not drinking that one. It's Chris's surprise beer. Mm-hmm. That never happened. We got the, uh, <laughs> we have the. We had to, we had to do the re- reshoot. Yeah, the, uh, um, no, this is great. I, uh, I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a fan of both of the breweries. Uh, Parish. Both of them? Parish. Parish yeah. and. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, great notion. Gosh. I mean, they're not, they're not punching out things that you're pouring down the drain. That's for sure. And it's a can, which is another plus. You know, it's 16 mm-hmm. ounces. So three people, you know, two you get an ounce and the other guy gets the rest. So mm-hmm. right. yeah, so exactly. I work it. Yeah, exactly. You, yeah, you get 12 <laughs> ounces and we get, uh, Steve gets uh, two and I get two. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> Hey, what, what are you going to do today, Trick? A bunch of beers. Well, so, guys, we had, uh, um, you know, I would kind of, uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, two different styles of beers. Well, really three different yeah. styles. So, we had the sour, we had IPAs, and then we had a stout. Right? Two stouts in the end. Yep. Um, the, uh, it's the st- interesting. What, uh, what do other people say about the Ascension? Um, you, let's a, see. Is it a new beer? Or is, I mean, is it it's just not. It came out like, um, gosh, when did it? 2002? No, it just came out last year. <laughs> it was stuck in there. There's only Viking there's only been 67 gray. check-ins okay. of the beer uh, total. Uh, let's see, with like the first one, you know, being back like April. At that point, people were saying, you know, coats your glass with maple, like super thick. You know, uh, looks like the um, uh, rare real time tick. You know, Town 2021. Um, you know, in, in April, May, but then you get to like, um, it's just kind of, I blew through here when we, mm-hmm. uh, when we taste it, I was like, that doesn't taste right. Mm-hmm. Um, a few people have, have been saying maple has fallen off, you know, like September something off, mm-hmm. right? Wow. They're like, uh, in, so we're right there with them. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, they're, uh, these people in end of September are saying, uh, no rating this one, uh, the beard flavors mm-hmm. off seems infected. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. We can verify that. Yeah, because I like, yeah, that certainly didn't, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. This is what it is. Yeah. It's a good thing we had a, uh, well, you've had a lot more of these than, than I have. And it didn't, it didn't hit me until the second swig. Yeah. That something was really off. Like right. In the same it way. kind of like irony. The, the gin one. Yeah. Because that was almost instantaneous to me. Like, I yeah. knew I didn't like that at all. Yeah, yeah. Chris saw the bottle and knew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, what a bummer. Well, at yeah. least we uh, we recovered there with the uh, with the swamp things. Swamp. So, what do you guys think of those beers? So, y- you guys are both going with the uh, with the Weldworks Equilibrium over for the, the hazies, uh, yeah. yeah, the hazies. Sure. Yeah. Now, the the spawn we've tasted several of those, mm-hmm. and that is not going to be my favorite one. Uh huh. And I'm think we may have lost it on the grapes. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just brought over a couple of shelf turds. Is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you call them whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Drain pours, shelf turds, you use whatever acronym you want. Yeah. Or not acronym. <laughs> but uh mm-hmm. adjective, that's what that's what you can use. There but, it is. Uh, no, I mean you, you got to go through them, right? Got to. Yeah. 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 So, I mean it wasn't bad. It was just uh I think oh, it, it was, lost a little no, it was on, terrible. The, on the grape. That's what it was. No, yeah. it wasn't. I thought I thought it was completely sour and wild. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, the honey got a little wild. <laughs> Yeah, but if you, the if you didn't, if you didn't tell anybody, it was you just said it was going to be a wild ale. You didn't mention the. Green we know part. all about wild ales. You know why? You know what? It, sometimes it tastes oh, like area. the, the yeah, spoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. I mean, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't undrinkable. No, no, it was all right. Yeah, yeah it was totally all right. Now the stout definitely undrinkable. Undrinkable mm-hmm. on the stout, yeah. For sure. So we we refreshed with the uh, swamp monster. Is that what it is? Swamp, swamp uh, snacks. snacks. Swamp snacks. Graham crackers, and, uh, marshmallows. Maple. Great notion saves the day again. Yay. Saved my palate for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> for that, we will be grateful. Well, I will, uh, I'll try to come next time with, uh, some better beers. Yeah. I wish you would. Mm-hmm. Just stop by 
in between with some better beers, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brothers. Cheers. 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 Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. In compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.